While most Native American reservations within South Dakota have banned Governor Kristi Noem, the governor says this move accomplishes nothing. Today, Kelloland's Dan Centella asked the governor about cartel activity in the state, then talked with tribal leadership about the governor's remarks. Governor Kristi Noem is clear about how she feels about her banishment from tribal land. Banishing me does absolutely nothing to solve this problem. And all it does is help those who are perpetuating horrible violence and crimes. She wants to see the cartels banished. Why have they not banished the cartels? Why have they not banished the cartel's affiliates? Noam says cartel influence is not only a major issue on tribal land, but also in communities across the state and country. Kelloland News asked Noam why cartel activities in the state's more urban areas, like Sioux Falls or Rapid City, have had less attention. We are very focused in those areas, and we've got great partnerships there with local law enforcement, with leaders there. That happens every single day. The problem that we have right now is that these cartels and their affiliates are finding a haven in our tribal reservation areas. I don't get how we're supposed to ban cartels or their associates if we don't even know who they are. Nearby on the Lower Brule Reservation, Tribal Chairman Clyde Estes says the governor's address missed something he'd like to hear. It's really uh, disheartening that we still can't get an apology to our Native children and parents. I think of out of anything, that's what we want the most. Noam said earlier this year that tribal children have neither hope nor supportive parents. When it comes to cartels, Estes says if he knew of any on this reservation, he'd take action. We have no knowledge of any cartel presence here or any of their affiliates. If we did, we would sure act on it immediately, as we have done with any threat to our people's safety and well-being. Dan Centella, Kelloland News. In written submitted testimony to a U.S. Senate committee, the president of the Oglala Sioux Tribe points to neglect from the federal government for allowing the cartel to move onto his reservation. The Attorney General's office also issued a statement today saying a majority of meth and fentanyl found in South Dakota comes from the southern border.